Hey everybody, welcome to Secret Animals. Have you ever bought a car without checking what's under the hood or a house without taking a look around inside? Of course you haven't because when you're making such a big purchase, we all know it's important to do our research. So when it's come to most significant purchase of all equestrian buying a horse, it's vital that you think your head rather than your heart. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos on horses and much more. Here is our number one expert tips to know what you want. Be clear on what you want out of your horses. This will help you to narrow down your search, saving your time and potential headache of buying the wrong horses. I always ask people, first of all, what are you looking for? What are your ambitions? What is your budget? And all of the answers have to fit together. Because it's a jungle with so many different horses out there and if you have 20,000 and you are looking for an Olympic horse that it's impossible or better to say that from the get go. Number 2 Expert Tips Bring an expert Bring an expert with you that knows how you ride and what you want out of your horse. Make sure it's someone that you really trust and that has good amount of experience in buying a quality horses. I always try and bring one other person with me so that we can discuss advantage disadvantage afterwards. I have seen look at the horse on my own before and missing the things. I have also seen horses and got shiny horse syndrome and been dazzled only to get home and find once it's been no longer shiny and that it's completely the wrong horse for me. Number 3 Mindful Behavior As well as watching the horse behavior, observe his reaction to his environment too. If horse come to us, I want to see him getting off, off the trailer in thoughtful way. If horse come to us, I want to see him getting off of the trailer in the thoughtful way. Say example, if it is two year old that done nothing but be a pasture before coming over to us. If it take a few minutes evaluating the situation before carefully stepping off the trailer, facing his fears while being thoughtful where he put his feet, that's a good sign. Number four. Is it horse history important? Yes, knowing your horse background can be very helpful, not only for the ridden work but for managing team day to day in barn. Yes, it's important but I'm certain not obsessed by it. Find out what you can buy, make your own judgment of the horses and start from the beginning whatever happened. Number 5. Check the personality. Having a sweetheart of horse makes every aspect of horse ownership more enjoyable. So unless you are fully prepared to deal with the additional work of a horse with the voices and behavior issues, it's the best to steer well clear. I like to see horse in the stall and when they being attacked up. Horse in the stall can tell me a lot about personality. Does it come to you? How does it interact with the horse's stall beside Tony? All of these things tell you about the horse and its personality. Number 6. Is testing Mental and Physical Attitude A great horse is only great if it is fits your needs. That's no point in owning the best share horses in the world if your ambition is to the Olympic eventers. Equally, some horses that are perfectly bred for his job don't have a mindset required to get the job done. And buying the wrong horse means that you are going to be stacking the order against yourself before you even get started. When I ride the horse, I will ask questions. You can tell me a lot of how the horses respond. I don't expect the horse to have a right answer, but some horses will just say no and other will give it a good go. On number 7, always get veterinary examination. For such a big animal, horses can be relatively delicate creature and conducting thoroughly veterinary exam is a must no matter how much the horse cost. A perfectly sound horse can have future lameness problem and hiding just out of sight or in the worst case scenario may be drugged to appear sound when they are permanently lame. I get everything checked, the blood takes as well in the long run, desinging process and makes for cheaper insurance. If possible, I get a fit x-ray as well. I have never needed to take horses back after buying it but have a read enough to horse stories and people that have. I don't need to be on the particular emotion roller coaster. Subscribe and turn off the notification so you don't miss more video on horses bred much more. Check out the playlist for my top 10 videos healthy horses breeding and I will see you in the next video. Take care.